Hello, and welcome to our guide on the seamless transition from Mingo to InfoOS Portal. Let me show you how running a migration can be as simple as one, two, three. However, before we proceed, let's first cover some essential information. Each tenant requires a separate migration. They must be in trial mode, and a support ticket is needed to transition to finalize mode. Let's first locate the crucial documentation on the developer portal at developer.info.com an indispensable resource filled with a wealth of knowledge and tools that enhance your development work in the M4OS platform. We'll start at the homepage and make our way to the Tutorials tab where extensive learning materials await us. As we delve into the Enterprise Portal section, we'll expand this category to reveal specific guides and resources. Our final destination is the Migrating Data from Mingle Portal to M4OS Portal section, where we'll find comprehensive migration instructions. In Infor OS, go to the portal and choose the Migration option. As a precaution, Infor has defaulted this process to a disabled state. We advise re-enabling it only for the duration of this migration and disabling it again once the migration is complete. When your environment is initially set up, Infor has already performed a migration to synchronize the tenant data. No user data has been migrated. Let's initiate another migration now taking it slower this time to delve into each step in detail. It's advisable to perform a test run initially for a few key reasons. Firstly, it provides an estimate of how long the actual migration will take. Secondly, in case of any errors, you can consult the log file to identify and resolve them effectively. Administrators have the option to migrate all tenant data by default or deselect specific entities using checkboxes if they prefer not to transfer them. Note that for any selected tenant entities, the existing data in OS Portal will be cleared prior to the migration of new data. Again, when the migration is completed, any modifications made to home pages in the new portal will be overwritten and replaced with the content being migrated from Mingle. If you've added any published workspaces or widgets during the testing phase of Portal, you can export these before starting the migration process. This step ensures you can preserve and later re-import them into the system post-migration. To conclude this tutorial, let's wrap up with one last demonstration. Yes, migrating your data is truly that simple within 4OS Portal.